Hey guys, I'm Avail back again with another video. This time it is about this Mi A3 and Nokia 7.2. In this video, let's compare the speed and RAM management on these two devices and we'll see which one is faster and is there any significant difference because of this Snapdragon 665 on Mi A3, which is a new you know, processor compared to this one, Snapdragon 660, which is quite old, uh, almost two years. Okay, so we'll see how significant will be the difference. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos on stock Android devices. And if you've already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. Let's start with the reboot first and we'll see which one will restart the device faster. Okay, so one, two, three. And you let me know if you're using any of these two devices, then do, do let me know how good are they like uh, in terms of, you know, apps, loading time and gaming. According to me, gaming is better on this Nokia 7.2. It's not like that the gaming is really bad on this one, but because of the display, you will not uh, enjoy gaming on this one. Otherwise, it is playable, not a problem. Okay, but in terms of day to day tasks, it is really fast. Now you can see that. In terms of restarting the device it is faster than this one Nokia 7.2 okay and yes there is a difference there is a difference there is no doubt about it here it is still you know in the process yes so we can see that in terms of rebooting the device there is a difference between 665 and 660 now we'll see how significant will be the difference in terms of you know geekbench scores so we'll see that first okay let's start that here here and we'll see the scores so the results are here and the surprising thing is that uh, this one 665 scored lower than this one 660 so that is really interesting but yes there is no significant difference this one single core score on this Mi A3 is 312 here it is 333 here multi core score 1404 here is it is 1464 so there is no significant difference now let's see in terms of the apps loading style and loading time and um, games loading time is there any significant difference we'll check that Okay, let's start with the phone app. One, two, three, seven, two, seven point two, according to me, camera. One, two, three, me a three. Okay, then settings. One, two, three, seven point two, according to me. You let me know your observation. Please, two, both are connected to the same Wi Fi. Again, 7.2, okay. Now, Chrome, okay, one, two, three. Me a three. Now let's check one web page. And we'll see which one will load the web page faster. One, two, three. Almost same, but I think this one loaded the whole page quicker than YouTube. One, two, three. Again, 7.2. Then Amazon. Where it is? One, two, three. I think this time it is me at three. Then Twitter. One, two, three. Me at three. Okay, now let's start with the games. PUBG first. Where is it? Yes, one, two, three. And in terms of playing PUBG, 7.2 is better because of this really good display. And this one is also good, but you won't enjoy playing games because of the low resolution of this display. And the display doesn't look good while gaming. And that is where you will observe the difference. Otherwise, the gameplay is fine, not a problem but the display in general is fine on this one but yes while gaming you will observe that it is not that good but in terms of loading the game you can see that Mi A3 is the winner okay right Mi A3 is the winner 
Now let's check the COD. Okay, one, two, three. And which one is your favorite, whether it is COD or PUBG? In my case, I'm still, uh, you know, playing PUBG uh, more than Call of Duty. But yes, the Call of Duty has really, really, you know, outstanding graphics compared to this PUBG. Otherwise, the gameplay is better on PUBG. Or it may be that uh, I'm good at playing PUBG than <laughs> Call of Duty. That can be the reason. Okay. So you can see that there is no significant difference. But we'll see which one will take you to the home screen faster. Okay. We'll wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do it. Yes, Mia 3 again. But there is no significant difference. Now here you can see that whether it is 665 or 660, in general tasks, you won't find any difference. Okay, there is no significant difference. So as I always say, there is no point in upgrading to new devices just because of the you know new or a new or update latest processor okay yes if you are heavy gamer then it can be a reason otherwise in general you don't have to upgrade just because of new processor okay now let's check the ram management both of these uh, come with same same 4gb ram okay i have the 4gb ram version now let's start with the web page bad loading okay You're still in the memory. Okay, YouTube. Still in the memory. YouTube, still in the memory. Then PUBG, still in the memory. Here, let's check PUBG. Yeah, still in the memory, no problem. Okay. Now let's check the Call of Duty. Still in the memory, no problem. Here as well, okay. So in terms of RAM management also, both of these are actually doing really good. There is no problem. Now let's check the web page again because it was reloading on this one. Whether it is still in the memory or not. Yeah, still in the memory, so not a problem. So you can see that there is no significant difference between this 665 and 660. So there is no point in upgrading just because of new processor. That is my opinion. So what do you think about it? You let me know in the comment section. So till the next video, guys. Cheers. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos. Okay, cheers.